What is up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's episode, Offensive Scheme of the Week, we're going to be focused on, on how to run the ball out of the Minnesota Vikings playbook. We're going to show you a quick snap run we like to use in no-huddle situations, and then we're going to show you our, our favorite three-header rushing attack from this. So, um, the quick snap run that we like to use in, in, in heavy no-huddle situations is from the gun doubles, or excuse me, the single-back doubles, and the play is Viking zone. Uh, in a situation where you may notice they're in dime or quarter, uh, you want to quick snap that Vikings halfback zone. It's going to get really good blocking. I really like this play. Uh, remember, we're going to run at flip because we're going to be flipped in all of our formations this week. Um, and we're going to talk about that a little bit more when we go to the X factor of why we really wanted to have flipped. Um, we showed you a little bit of the reason why in the bunch. Um, and we're going to show you the rest of the reason why when we get to the X factor. But this is just a quick hot route, or excuse me, just a quick audible, quick run play. Uh, we just like to use it to get upfield with, with Lynch. And sometimes, and then the idea here is. It's really just a quick snap run. That's all it is. But then we go to this PA Vikings cross. And now we try to bomb over the top. That's the idea here. So, for example, what's going to ha eventually start happening is they're going to start, okay, well, now they're going to run the ball. So we're going to, you know, bring our safeties down. And they're going to start really protecting against the run. Well, what eventually will happen is if they continue to do that quick, 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 quick snap. And then you're gonna have that lob ball over top, and then you're just you're, you know at that point you're playing a user catch game. Golden Tate, you know obviously he can get the job done. We're not really backed off far enough. What I like to do is is I'm gonna quick snap that run a lot through the first quarter or so, but then eventually what's gonna happen is one at, at some point later on in the game I'll just quick step, call this PA play, and then and then just bomb over top. And obviously I'm not getting a really good look right now bombing because of the great block shed by the Seahawks, but just just the idea here, again, is just bomb right over the top of his head. And a lot of times you'll get that. You know, in practice mode, it doesn't do it justice, to be honest, because in game mode, you guys have all seen how effective lob streaks are, um, and we'll get back, we'll, we'll talk a more about that later on in the week. We also have the slot post play. If you want to throw a post route, you can. You got Percy Harvin in the slot, so that's obviously a good look there. You also have a smart routed out route out of that. Um, to Sydney Rice if you want to. So, so it's just some basic stuff. But the idea mainly here is your quick snap in this run. And that's that's the main thing I want you to focus on out of this play, out of this formation. There's a lot of other things you can do, but it's going to limit you because the idea here, again, is get it into your opponent's mind that you want to quick snap that run. And then eventually what you could do is, and this is actually what I really like to do, since I have Harvin in the slot and Tate on the outside, is I'll just streak Harvin out of that play action, um, to be honest. I mean, here... And then you make sure you leave that play action on so they suck down, and then you're just going to bomb over top. And Harbin is going to crush any slot defender uh, over top like that. So that's the that's the um, quick snap run offense. And let's check down and show you the real uh, running offense out of this formation, or out of this playbook that we w if we want to go down and, and just check down. We like this I-form twins flex, and the play we like to so ch focus on is the the halfback search, um, a lot of times you'll see defenses come out in 43 or 46 formations to stop this. So we'll go to the popular 43 over plus defense. And here, the idea on the search is if, the, if they don't base a line, you're just going to take it to the right. It's basically like the Saints power out. And then if they do base a line, then you're just going to take it back, flip it over to the left side here. You're playing a numbers game. You're always going to have the advantage no matter what they do. And then you're just powering up the middle. Quick audible down. Uh, is the ISO or the little blast inside zone run basically is what it is. It's very effective. It's more almost I think it's more effective than um, some of the better power runs in the game. This is a run you want to use when you're trying to get three four yards. This is very effective. Uh, real quick, I want to show you what happens if they do run commit on this halfback blast. Um, you see they sometimes can get in, but that was kind of. But you're running it to the left. So if you want to flip it back, run it to the right now, and they still run commit. Now you're going to have a lot more of separation, and now you have a lot more room to run. So it's based off of the personnel. So, like, again, if they base a line, then you're going to run the blast to the left. If they don't base a line, then you're going to run it to the right. It's very simple, but it's very effective. Here you see they base a line, so we run it to the left, and they ramp it down the middle, and Marshawn Lynch is still getting heavy, heavy yardage. So that's the idea behind this running set. It's just very effective. you got an inside and an outside run. You can flip them both, um, or playmaker to them both to run backside. Um, and do a lot of things with this offense. Guys, I really like this halfback search. I think it's a little bit better than Saints halfback power, in my opinion. It's not as dominant, but it has a little bit more big play potential, in my opinion, uh, than the Saints power. -o. 
Um, sometimes you will get blocked shots like that. If they're widening out, you know, here's a look where, you know, you want to run the halfback blast. Let's, uh, let's be honest. And then what's going to happen is they'll start. So they're saying, okay, well, we got to set up our run defense. So one of the run defenses from a while back was to shift them, shift them this way, do this, 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 and then bring the safety down in the box like so. And if they were to do this, obviously we would be playmaker in that to the left. So here we're going to run left. And now you see Lynch gets to the edge against that popular run defense from Madden 13 or 12. And a very effective. Passing from this, not really anything, really, to be honest. Uh, you got the slants, um, flanker dig, nothing really special. PA cross in. This is the only passing play I run. And basically what it is, it's going to have a corner route in it. And so you can throw that. Obviously, uh, a lot of times they will use or defend that route. Uh, so let's just mimic that by putting Thomas in a purple zone. So a lot of times they will use or defend that route. So that's going to leave Sidney Rice coming open, wide open across the middle. Um, against man-to-man -man coverage. As you see him there coming open. <coughs> and then another thing you'll have on this, if they aren't just a basic two-man under coverage, the running back uh, on that little in route there does a pretty decent job, the little full back route. is decent against man, but the real idea here is that deep in route late. If everything's covered, looking, looking, no one open, and then you just got that in route. And that's just so frustrating when they complete routes like that over the middle. So guys, that's the basic running formation. I just wanted to share two different types of running sets. This is if I really want to run the ball, this is what I'm going to run. But obviously we have really good balance from our offense. And that quick snap run out of the Vikes half back zone is very effective. Really want you guys to focus on that and the play action um, concepts that we're using out of that. So thanks for watching today. Be sure to come back tomorrow for the rest of the scheme. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.